Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to Farming Sim 17. As I mentioned in the previous episode, I'm recording this right after that one. So I'm currently out while you're watching this, but hopefully you enjoy the previous one. We started this series again and uh, I hope I didn't screw anything much. We will see. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Um, in the previous episode, we ended up with our helper. We really finished uh, harvesting the wheat from the other field. Oh, we need to unload the wheat from here. Okay, I see. And uh, this guy is cultivating this field. Now, some of you guys might have warned me not to do this in the comments, but I'm not reading it yet, so it's too late. <laughs> But no, it, it's okay. It will work. We'll find a way how to make it work. This guy is uh, planting canola, I think that is. That icon in the lower right, that blue icon. Is that canola? Maybe. And this guy is chilling. So we'll need to go back to the base, unload the wheat, and then I guess in this episode we'll just uh, do an extended tour of the place, sell off some of the stuff if there's anything that's selling good. And then we can probably do some jobs on the side if they're like uh, if they're like uh, uh, there's nothing else to do we can do jobs on the side contractual jobs and so we can actually move here we can do a shortcut here just notice this one there we go uh, so we can do some other jobs in other fields that we don't own just so we can earn some extra money but that's after we sell everything off that uh, has a nice price so yeah i haven't been able to read any of the comments yet as i mentioned because i recording this in advance so you'll have to excuse me there all right but yeah, i'll uh, i'll do that right after so for the third episode if there will be a third episode hope you guys enjoy the see enjoy enjoying the series so far and uh yeah i'm looking forward to what you have in mind if you're liking it if you're not if you have other ideas other suggestions i know you will because uh, a lot of you guys are helping me out in other series you're giving out you're giving out these great suggestions and uh, it's super helpful so all those are welcome let's see Okay, this one. So we reverse and we align ourselves. Oh, it's large the turning radius. I think the wheelbase is longer than I expected. We align ourselves there actually. Hmm. I'm on the other opposite side. Okay, my bad. So we do this. We stick out our pipe. Uh, pipe out. Yeah, it's simply called a pipe. All right, gotcha. We go out. Go in here, and we go on the opposite side. So that should load it up. Perfect. That's around a thousand. Exactly. So let me just uh, turn this thing off. Pipe in. Let's get this out of the way. And then let's do some loading. So from what I remember, there are some stuff here like fertilizers, fuel, and whatnot to help us get started, but we don't need any of those just yet. The sower that we have plants the seeds and at the same time I think fertilizes them. So I think the first layer of fertilization is done. I think there are three layers if I remember correctly for each stage of growth. But for now we don't need to fertilize any of the newly planted seeds we have. Okay, we're good there. Do we need to cultivate anything? Uh, this guy actually can go and uh, park just somewhere here, I guess. Like here, maybe? How wide is this thing? 
I guess I can park here. That. Drop off the thing. Detach it. And stop there. Good. Alright, let's do this. So let's fill up with grain and let's drop it off somewhere. This might be a tedious work, so I'll try to keep you guys company. And if you get too tired of it, you can always fast forward. <laughs> but this is more of a relaxing, uh, relaxing uh, playthrough. Not too much happening all the time, but hopefully enough to keep you guys entertained. One sec. Doesn't work. Move forward a bit and kill. Perfect. Well, that's working. Let me check. Okay, we don't have any wheat anymore. The maple field mill is still hard at work there. So what we can do is we can all deliver that again to that train station. Ouch, I actually bumped through that post. There we go. Loving the controls though. The only thing missing is the force feedback, but the overall physics, the steering wheel, the mirrors, it actually gives a very nice driving experience. And for a game that's focused on farming, the driving aspect on this one is actually pretty good. Even like treads there. Although you, there is no zoom in, I would like to have to zoom in, in my view. Maybe there is a button, I'm not really sure. So let's go and unload this, now I know what to do. I can actually do this faster. I just go here. Unload it somewhere here. And uh, we might need to move back though, the train that we have. I think we'll have to circle all the way around. So here is where we are. Yeah, we should have done this like in one go. Instead of uh, one load, one train, one load, one train. It should be load, unload, 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 and then one trip on the train. That would be the most uh, practical way of doing things. Right, that's good. Let's go to our train. Is it this one? No, it's this one. This one is currently in Maplefield Mill. Let's uh, circle all the way around. And the train controls are very simplified. It's a stop and go. But the stopping is actually pretty... It's not realistic, realistic, but it's not bad. I mean, the train can't stop at the wing, just notice. You really have to still pace yourself and... Uh, Make sure that you're not uh, having problems. That you're not, uh, how do you say? Oh, this is a nice view, huh? So cool. Man, I should take some screenshots. Maybe later. Oh, maybe in this bridge. Yeah, you know I love bridges. Maybe here. That's not too bad. Stop, stop. The loading is somewhere here. Oh crap, I'm going to overshoot again. <laughs> let's see if that works. Oh, it does not. Okay, let's reverse a little. Six percent full. Right, let's do this. Let us unload this thing. Can you not hire a helper to do this unload? I don't think so. I think the helpers can only work on the fields. But the loading and loading, the selling off, you have to do that on your own. What is that? 
looked like a carnival of sorts. Oh, there are two bridges like that. I like it. Okay, I think we have to already slow down as early as this. Just so we make it in time. Stopping right where we need to. Uh, this takes a bit of skill as well. A bit of precious precision. And it looks like we will still overshoot. Or maybe just, just right. Just right. Good. Okay, that's perfect. So we unload it. I don't want to see it though. Uh, but if I go down, then I can't unload it. It's a dilemma. Uh, if, we, if I look like. Okay, there at least I can see. If I press U now, or uh, there, okay, not U, but that one, okay. So the grain just kind of fell through the cracks on the trailer. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Good. That's one down. Let's do some more unloading. Is there anything else that has a pr pretty nice price? Okay, sunflower we can all sell off. Pretty nice price on the on the flower on the denton bakery what is this barn this is that's new hmm. what is this i guess that's uh oh that just marks it in your gps okay i see i really needed that one but fine okay right here i really love driving here in first person I tried this with an Xbox 360 controller, you know, driving in third person like this. It's nice, but it's it feels too arcadey. When I drive like this, it feels simulation. If you get what I mean. Yeah, it 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 changes the entire perspective of things. So good. And you can drive like this with track IR and uh, that one. Although I guess in terms of working on the field itself, it is pretty hard to work in first person. But I mean, if you want realism. Then you have to get used to it, right? So we'll try as much as possible to do it in first person, even working on the fields. But yeah, it's probably going to be very hard. But uh, what can we do? So let's go and unload the sunflowers. I wonder how how often the prices change. Not really, not, I'm not really familiar with that. So like. If you if we see that we have a good price on the on Denton Bakery, and then is it possible that when we get there the prices change? That kind of sucks, doesn't it? So I guess we always have to uh, pay attention before we drop off stuff because the prices might have changed last minute. So we go there. We load up on uh, sunflowers. Okay, that is indeed canola, the one we were planting right now. Sunflowers. Did I? Did I? Get that correctly? Yes, I did. Okay, Denton B create this. Let's go. Alright. And then we can do any of the fields afterwards, I guess, because there are no other good prices on the crops that we have. So we'll see. And now because this, this is the second episode already, I mentioned to you that we will only be good citizens in the first episode. I will not be following those stop signs anymore, okay? <laughs> Unless there is a car headed there, that is... That is. But, so, I think it's a pretty small town anyway, so I guess those traffic signs are not really strictly enforced. It's more like, uh, good to know. <laughs> Let's look at it that way. This is like Highway 242. I wonder if this is a real place in the US. Maybe not. Or maybe this is based on a real place but it's like fictional. Good. Authorized vehicles only. That's us. There we go. You guys ready to earn some bucks? There we have it. Let me double check. 
that should be good. There you go. That's weird, huh? Sunflowers are actually black. Why? I have no clue. That's 9k. Good one. Alright, so what else? Yeah, we can't sell anything else. Uh, there is this right agri business though for the canola. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Maybe we can do that. And we can explore some new area. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, right agri business is over there on the top left side of the map, if you can see it. Yep, that's the one. But first, we'll have to load up on canola. And I hope I'm not doing this wrong. But I think it's good to sell off the stuff. Maybe we can repay the, pay the loans. Just so we don't incur any uh, any loan interest. Yeah, pay, our, pay off our debts first. And then buy some equipment or lease some equipment as needed. I guess that's what I'll be doing just to play it safer now. Or do you think it would be better if I spend it on an investment? Like buy a farm or uh, buy some equipment or whatnot. See, also do you want like some music while we're playing this or do you like to hear the engine like this? Let me know in the comments because I can play some music from Abstraction or from Jay. Actually Jay, one of our subscribers, is a musician himself and he recently had his uh, tracks, uh, how do you say, published. I think can be the term. And I'm planning to make use of them as well, because they really sound good from what I've heard. So thanks a lot for that, Jay. I'll be sure to check them out. Maybe I can use them on the stream, actually. Yeah. Okay. That is this one here. Load up on canola. Okay. That one. That's also black. Interesting. Maybe those are seeds. I don't know. But yeah, that's that has a good price. So let's do that. And the thing should be. One sec, where is it? Okay, that one. How the heck do we get there? Let's uh, go through the shortcut. Yeah, I think I have an idea. Let's go through here. Oh boy, I just didn't go through the field. Yeah, th there's a mod which makes uh, the crops realistic. That when you go over them with the non-specialized with non-specialized tires, they get destroyed. I don't think I have that. And let's keep it off in the meantime because you know clumsy driving might get me into trouble. So let's stick oh let's go move away from that in the meantime. Yep. But I am enjoying this really. There's so much to do. And if I can do this multiplayer, I would really love it. So if anyone is interested to play, let me know. And maybe we can even get like a dedicated server of our own. I'm not sure how much it costs, but if we can all like pitch in and fund it we could have a server of our own anyone can play there and they can all like do like cooperative work that would be amazing wouldn't it let me know if you guys would be interested in that although the server location might be a bit tricky because i'm from singapore so asia and we would have to find somewhere in the middle i guess we would get like a us server because a European server, I will get pretty bad latency. I think this is our route. Yep. Alright. Man, but the view here is really so good. I wonder how many maps there are already. The game has been quite out for quite a while so I'm guessing a lot of maps have come out. Do you have any maps to recommend or is this still the best one? I would want something that's friendly for be that's friendly for beginners but as uh, all of the stuff you can do as well. Like all of the features in the game you can do. But yeah I can definitely see the appeal of this game now. 
it gets tedious at times but you can always have helpers and uh, especially if you're playing with some people then it makes it much more uh, how do you say much more immersive less boring living the country life right here so I'm, uh, I'm playing Stardew Valley offline I'm not sure if you guys have heard about that game but it's uh, it's been out for like two years and I just recently bought it and I'm playing it I'm really enjoying it though it's it's so fun it's like 2d pixel art not realistic at all cartoonish but it has a bit of farming aspect in there as well and a lot of other stuff too it's, it's quite nice actually but I probably will just play that offline and then maybe play this Farm Sim 17 in the channel so it's more realistic, it's more up to speed with the... What is that? Bears Crossing? Ooh, can we see that? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, Farm Sim 17 is what I'll probably feature in the channel more. I think there's, there was a way there which I missed. But there is another way here, it should be fine. The map is actually pretty nice to run. You can see all those uh, roads and you can determine if they're like large or small roads. This is our turn. And here looks like there is some work to be done in this field. Yep. So I guess when you work on a field like this, you can't like hire a helper, huh? <laughs> Otherwise that would be too cheap. Like, like you you get a job like this and then you subcontract it to uh, someone else. <laughs> but you get paid most of the stuff, most of the, the fee. <laughs> that would be pretty easy. Okay, let's sell this here. But before we do, let's double check the price. Yeah, the price is still good. One, three, still green. Let's position this better and unload. I, I know you can also change the tipping point here, like if, if it flips on the, to the right or the back, things like that, but I'm pretty fine with this one. I think I like it. There we go. Now we have 43k. Can we pay off any of our loans? And what is that? What is this? Water? Can you load it up? What is that? No clue. Maybe that's not for this one. Maybe that's for the animal side. I don't know. Okay. Any other prices that we have to actually look at that? The price of uh, canola went down and it's going up again. Ah, interesting. Save the game. I think we're good there. A vehicle overview. What are these? Are we leasing these things? Why do we have those? Maintenance. I guess, I don't know, loan is 75k. How much have we paid in loan interest? Still nothing, okay. So it's not that bad, but we're not in a very good spot yet. So I guess we do some of some jobs, huh? What if we do this? Oh, Helper D has completed their task, okay. Let's move there first. Uh, where is Helper D? It's this guy. Yeah, doing the sewing, good. You actually can sew one more. If I do a check here, um, the map, please. Thank you. Yeah, this one. Field 15 is cultivated, doesn't have anything in there yet. And if you look here, we planted canola, we planted wheat. Can we plant sunflowers? No, we cannot. Um, I guess we can plant more canola. Yeah, because the price is good and it's going up. Alright, more canola this then. And uh, let's go with field 15 right here. Can the game, can the helper know this correctly if I just like align myself like this? And let him take care of it? Okay, he aligns himself. That's perfect. Because <laughs> I really suck at that. Okay, good. Okay, this is us. 
Um, let's see, what, what's a good field to start with? Just a small one, you know, just to get a feel of things. How about uh, field six? Yeah, let's try our hand against that, doing some manual work, if we can handle that. And I think I can also teleport there, but, you know, just to get a feel for it better. Let's drive there, physically, and uh, see how that looks. This was the road we missed. Naturally, I think I can take a shortcut here. Whee! <laughs> yep. Good thing there is no damage feature in this game. Otherwise, my bells would certainly rack up. Okay, let's go here. Oh, it looks like a harvesting job. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Alright, let's see. How do we get this? Um, hello? R. Ouch. Sorry. Purchase our farm field. Okay, so we'll be having this uh, equipment. Mission progress is not saved when saving or quitting. Okay. We will earn like 8k there. Or we can purchase the field for 110k. Oh, no, thank you. But harvesting is good. Let's try it. Right? Some manual work for a change. So how does this look? Okay, so looks like we'll have to reverse and uh, attach to that. Wow, that looks like something from a horror movie. Sounds good. Let's reverse. Sounds legit. He has a much better harvester than me huh? I guess we don't need the map for this one. And I guess we can do something like this. Uh, <laughs> even aligning on this... Uh, how do you call this? Blade? Is not very perfect for me. Does that not work? Oh, you have to be really accurate here. I love that squeaking sound though. The sound department in this game is so nice. There we go. Alright. So what do we do here? I think we unfold this or something. This looks so cool. Is this a famous brand, Delta? It's I guess a real brand, huh? Because they should have gotten some licenses. Alright, so let's uh, unfold it. Unfold the harvester. Looks good. Uh, let us... Uh, what do we do here? Let's change the selection. That one. There we go. Let's lower the header. And unfold it. There we go. Oh, this is quite different. Are these... What are we even harvesting here? This looks like a different thing. Yeah. Do we need to turn it on or something? I don't think so. Okay. So let's see. How does this thing work? Take it super slowly. Does that work? It does not. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We have to do something else. Maybe I should turn it on somehow, right? Um, let's see. Change that and... Uh, turn on Harvester. There we go. There. Wow. That looks super scary. And there is a time limit. Crap, I didn't know that. Okay start this oh well, there you go that looks so nice this is corn okay I see all right yeah see in first person how the heck can you align this 
it's almost impossible to align in third person it's super easy maybe so maybe we'll uh, switch to and from from time to time that looks so good oh man yeah, we'll have to uh, take care of the entire field though so this might take a long time guys <laughs> oops maybe we can do like a scenic shot like that perhaps I'm going out of the alignment oh no let me try to do this in first person let's let's try maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it stop okay reverse and head the opposite way can you do it thank you all right that's how we do it now i think the alignment is super wrong though this is where the gps mode would be super helpful actually it can automate stuff for you can we hire a helper yeah we can't <laughs> Game is not that easy. Okay, so it's not that bad. Oh well, yeah, you can see the alignment is really crooked. And if you have like OCD, your OCD tendencies will definitely hit up here when you have something not aligned perfectly. But yeah, that's just the way it works. You have to live with the, some of this stuff. Yeah, this one I, I can get. How can it can get really tedious? Oh, I'm missing a swath there. A line. Crap. Yeah, this one I can see how it can get really tedious. When you're doing this for hours and hours alone, it can get pretty tiring. I guess you must listen to music or uh, listen to podcasts. Or if you're doing this multiplayer, then it's much easier. But yeah, if you're doing this alone, it might get very hard to stay committed to this thing although if you look at it we're actually like one fourth of the way done so it's not that bad i mean this is a small field after all so maybe yeah so that's that's my main problem like for this series how do i not edit this out yeah if i just i need to have like be playing with someone else or uh, have a lot of uh, things on my mind so we can like make this into like a podcast for you guys you can listen while well, i do this and uh, try to align myself as best i can i really like how this looks though I, I like it much better from third person than first person when i'm doing this harvesting there's something so satisfying about seeing all those corn getting eaten up by our uh, i don't know how i call this this monster apparatus or something. I like that. She's actually seeing getting, uh, how do you say, getting processed over there. Sludging it out. And yeah, I know. Super imperfect, but we can return to there later on. I'll probably have to map my buttons better so I can get like the, the how do you call it? So I can get like the, the lift and lower the header and the turning on and off of the harvester. So I can, I can actually I can think I can I can do that here. Yeah, I can actually do that here. So I can. What's the difference? If I raise it like that, it doesn't do anything. If I lower it, does it work? Wait a minute. Why does it not work? See. okay now it works if you have it raised it doesn't work quite well I see oh wow, crap we're so far away yeah, any tips for first person guys how do you exactly align yourself when you can't even see that other side hmm, 
do want to stay in first person, but I think we'll have to mix it up. And in here, I'll have to just do it like that. Hug the right side, basically. I remember I even had like a cheat here. Like a trick where, where it allows you to go to the mode. So right now we're only traveling at like 6 miles per hour. But uh, there's a trick where you can go faster. And I have that in my video, in the GPS video I have. But I forgot how to enable it. And I'm not sure if I want to enable it actually. Because I want to play this realistically. So I'm not sure if I want to behind that approach. Let's raise the header. Ah, when we raise the header you can go much faster, I see. So it's better when you're doing it like this. Then lower it, and then go and start again. I get it. That makes sense. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a real mess. Oh, okay, let's align ourselves here. This look nice though. But yeah, this is this is one of my main uh, problems recording this farming. So, because I think I'll have to edit it out, and editing it out might be a bit too tedious for me. So we will have to see how we continue with this series. If you have other suggestions, though, do let me know. But yeah, for now I think that's my main problem. I think this is why I stopped it because it takes a lot of time, doing a lot of offline work. So I guess it would work on stream, but maybe not as a series in YouTube. Maybe you can just upload the, the footage afterwards. And that might work. That might actually work better. We will see. We'll see. Maybe I need to turn on my beacons, huh? Yeah, let's turn on beacons. So we have something more exciting. <laughs> A little bit of action. Hello? Good thing we started with a small field. If we started with that massive field right there, I probably wouldn't have finished it. <laughs> I would probably have given up along the way. But this is actually pretty easy money, huh? 8k for doing a simple thing like this. It's just like farming something. Although, of course, there's nothing that beats working on your own field. And nothing that beats uh, letting others work on your own field. You can see how lazy I am with those words. <laughs> but yeah. I kind of like uh, driving around and delivering stuff rather than working in the field itself. Because I really have a hard time aligning. Like, look at that. Drawing a straight line is very difficult for me. How much more driving in a straight line? Yeah, look at that insanity. How misaligned that is. I'm out of here. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Let's uh, get proper angle in here. Can you lower it? So. There you go. Not too bad. There's a bit of leftover in there. Looks like Homer's hair. <laughs> a few strands left over, but shouldn't be a deal breaker. I think we should still be able to manage uh, finishing this job. Oh man, that's a disaster. Actually, I, sh I should also be able to turn on some lights here. Yeah. Although it is daytime, so it doesn't really make much sense. Actually, does it turn night? Yeah, that's uh, an interesting thing. Does this game have day and night cycles? Or is it always daytime? I can't really remember. I don't think I've ever encountered night here in this game. 
Maybe I just haven't played enough. Okay, almost done. Good. And we go. Is that good? Oh man, <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> that is so bad. Worst farmer ever. <laughs> it is quite challenging though. So yeah, I'm looking forward to what tips you have in, in store for me. How to, how to uh, make sure this is aligned, especially with the steering wheel. I think it's harder with the steering wheel. Because with the, for example, with the gamepad, when you let go of the throttle, it automatically resets your uh, your your orientation. The steering wheel, it does not. I have to bring it back to center. We're almost done. I think we'll manage it. If you see the top right circle, it's almost full now. Almost full green. Yeah, there we go. 8k time bonus. Wow. So you got almost like 10k there. Beautiful. Amazing. Ah. Wow, and uh, all that Homer hair is gone. Okay. I'm good with that. And our guy is still doing his work. Shouldn't you have uh, finished by now? Do you guys know if the job continues? Well, what's happening? Wait a minute. Why is that guy leaving some stuff over? So if, if you look at the field... Why is it doing that thing? Leaving those over. I don't get it. <laughs> that looks so weird. Oh man. I don't get it, guys. We'll probably have to solve it manually. Like, look at this. He stops there. Maybe the alignment is not so good. Maybe starting on this angle is a bit confusing for these uh, AI workers. It seems to look like it. It's leaving a huge gap in there. That is just weird. Okay, fine. Why is it up? Oh, that's me. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's leave it there for now, guys. I look forward to what you have in mind. Help me improve this series and uh, help me continue this. Because uh, I think long term, those kinds of jobs will get pretty tiring, huh? Like it will be pretty flat so we have to have more action more uh, events happening in the game maybe we can work on cattle or something maybe not work on those uh, extra extra jobs i'm not sure you let me know Look for looking forward to your comments and uh, if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button okay hit the like button comment and share to your friends and subscribe if you haven't already anyway thank you for watching hope you had a good time i'll catch you in the next one looking forward to what you have in mind Thank you. Bye-bye. Clumsy, signing off.